So my name is Nicola Beretta, I'm a product manager in Allen & Eath and we are here at Plaza this year with a lot of new features, new software for iLive, new products that we are launching uh, in Plaza and obviously we are also showing the GLD system which is, has proved to be very very popular uh, in UK and around the world. Uh, it's now one year in the market and we are selling um, thousands of these systems. Um, it's a compact digital console um, up to 44 microphone inputs, uh, 48 DSP channels, up to 20 processing outputs with full processing on all the inputs and outputs, 8 effect engines and it's fully customizable so you can build your own mixer layout, you can set up the surface to work exactly the way you want and it's designed to work in conjunction with CAT5 stage boxes um, so that's part of the core design of the system and it's a, uh, basically a cut down version of our flagship iLive uh, family of products so we've got uh, all the same effects and all the same DSP code and algorithm uh, which means that uh, GLD and iLive have got exactly the same audio quality uh, so it's not just a cheaper product um, it's obviously a lower channel count but it's as good as iLive in terms of audio and performance. We are launching XB10 which is a compact broadcast mixer. It's designed for uh, small um, radio stations or uh, college radios, um, internet, webcasters, uh, podcasting, all those applications in broadcast where uh, people cannot really afford a professional high-end digital system for, for the radio. And it's got a lot of clever features in it which makes it specifically designed for broadcast. And here at my um, in my shoulders we've got a GSR24, a recording desk, and we are now launching a new software release for GSR24 which makes it fully compatible with Pro Tools um, out of the box. So it's got a Huey emulation mode uh, which you can run on the desk and it makes it a controller, a complete controller for your uh, DAW which could be Pro Tools or any other software and uh, as well as an analog uh, mixer for tracking and summing. So we are uh, basically previewing a beta of the 1.9 release for iLive. Uh, people and users were expecting the release uh, from, for a while all under, around the world and we've uh, listened to all the feedback and user requests for, for these people. Uh, so we've got a forum online, we've, we, uh, we've got an iLive blog and we tend to listen carefully then sit down and try to put everything we can in the next release of the software. So this one now includes new effects like a dynamic EQ, multiband compressor, uh, which are careful emulations of classic industry standard uh, analog gears. And we've got new graphics modes, so um, on each of the 32 processing outputs you can choose up to four different GQ types, proportional or constant Q or DGQ or whatever you fancy. And we've got uh, several other little features which make the desk much more easier to use for the um, basic, uh, basic user. Uh, we've got an update of the Mixpad app for the iPad uh, with a tap tempo now included in the, in the release. And we've got a new application that we are showing which is called OneMix for personal monitoring mixing uh, where an admin can log in and set permissions for a particular user to control just one auxiliary mix uh, at, the same, at a certain time uh, with a set of permissions and uh, that, that it can um, control or not on the system. Uh, so you can have several iPads for several mixes on a, on a stage. And down there at the, at the end of the stand we've got i16 which is a 16 uh, track um, standalone recorder. Uh, so it can record directly on a USB drive or USB key. Uh, it's designed primarily to capture a performance from an analog desk. And you can use multiple units cascaded uh, so you can record more than 16 tracks actually. Uh, it also doubles as a powerful audio interface. So on top of the USB recorder, there's also a firewire and USB 16 by 16 interface on the back to record using a computer um, or a Mac. Um, and that's it really.